previously on Asagao Academy. Those guys over there are Paul, Nick, and Josh. They write a column in the school newspaper called Continue. Paul, the one standing up, is the student council president. Next to him is Jared, also known as Pro Jared. He's a model. Well, last year, Jared put on a fashion show. It looks like he's doing it again this year. I see you're admiring my totally sweet posters. The real problem is that cr the real problem that causes grinding to be necessary necessary in RPGs, if you ask me, is that the whole system is flawed. Mishizu goes on a tangent again. She must have gotten stood up. Class was nearly over, and PBG still hadn't shown. I was worried, but no one else seemed to care. <laughs> that kid always misses class. Still, what if he's sick? Why didn't anyone care? At the sound of the bell, Mishizu got jumped. Oh, uh, well, turn to page two. Turn in a two-page reflecting on why the human species as a whole has an emotional range of the teaspoon. Do tomorrow. She definitely got stood up. Um. Um, Miss Shizuka. I stood and dashed to her desk. Yes, Hana. PPG wasn't in class today, and I can take his notes to him if you need. <laughs> oh, Hana, you're a godsend. Miss Shizuka's eyes watered. She leaned over her desk and pulled him into a hug. It's wonderful to see you, our youth have hope. Hana. She pulled away at, She pulled away and stared into my eyes. Don't give up on love. You're young. If PBG is the one you want, you have my blessing. Here, take these papers. She shoved the handouts from today's class into my hands and gathered her things. Bless your heart. <laughs> she left the room crying. <laughs> Poor thing. She must really like this one. Does this happen often? <laughs> often enough. So you're taking that to PPG? Yeah. But now that I think about it, I don't know his, his room number. 402. How? how? Uh... It's next to Jared's room, so of course I've noticed him leaving the in the mornings. Ah. I've got tryouts, so I won't be able to go with you. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. I told you, I don't think he feels that way. Before I could say anything more, she left the room. Hmm. 400, 401, 402. Here it is. I paused in front of my in front of his door, my heart in, his th in my throat. I suddenly felt horribly stupid about bringing this to him. It wasn't like he would. It wasn't like he would even look at it. He himself said that he hated school. But what if he was dying in there? John went to the drama club, and he wouldn't be back for a few hours. Sucking it up, I knocked on the door. Who is it? Um, it's Hana. I brought some notes from... The door swung open before I could finish my sentence. PBG beamed Hana. down at me. Hana! Hey. Hi! Hi! Come in, come in! Uh, th thanks? I stepped into a messy room. Posters lined the walls, and a small harvest of noon plushies were piled up on one of the beds, which I assumed to be PBGs. Oh, harvest noon, I bet. Um, this room does not look messy. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, why do they only have one desk? A TV was on in the center of the room. Turby twinkled happily from the pause menu. You're playing games? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. PBG closed the door behind me. Um... I didn't feel like going to class today, so I thought I'd stay in and do some work. Work? Well... Well, we do have a tournament coming up. So this kind of counts. I brought you the stuff we went over in class. Oh, thank you. He took the papers out of my hands and set them on the desk next to a small stack of manga. I'm glad you're feeling well. Were you worried that I was sick? Sorry. <laughs> but that's adorable. I'm kind of happy what? about it. What? Do you want to hang out? We have to work on our project at some point anyways, right? Well, I didn't really have anything else planned. Great. He plopped into a beanbag and slapped a pillow next down next to him. Do you want to play? N no, I'm not too good at games. I think I'll just mm. watch. Hmm. Okay, then. He unpaused the game. Turby sprinted across the screen, shooting fireballs from his mouth. PB PBG and I didn't talk much. Instead, I commented on the game and laughed at him when he died. Before I knew it, the sun was setting and I had to leave. You're welcome back anytime. Actually, we're having Stomping Sisters tournament in two days, if you want to come. Really? Really? Sure. sure. Awesome. It'll be in noon in this room. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. I'll see you here. I'll see you then. <laughs> I left the dorm and stepped out into the fading sunlight. The air was warm, filled with the smell of freshly cut grass. 
I couldn't put my finger on it, but something about being around PBG was comforting. Shaking my head, I went back to the dorms. Hey! Hey, Mai, how did tryouts? <coughs> Hana, close your eyes, don't move! Before I could flip on the light switch, something warm collided with me and my eyes were covered. <coughs> What's going on? Stop squirming, you'll ruin it! <coughs> ruin what? Just follow my lead, okay? Mai guided me through the room, telling me where to step. Down? She put her hand on my back and folded me in half, itching, inching me into something that felt like it had a roof. Almost done. What exactly is going on? And ta-da! I gasped. Aww, we have a little tent. <clears throat> my, what is this? What does it look like? It's a pillow fort. I've been looking forward to this for ages. Tryouts already happened and I made the team easy. I left early because I wanted to set this up for you. For me? Well, for us. You've been such a good friend to me, Hana. I'm so glad we got to be roommates. I wanted to do something for you to make you feel more at home. I've seen how panicked you, you can be going around school. I don't know what happened in your life, but... Asaga was your fresh start, right? You got me, and you got this school. And normal boots, too. If you're up for it, this can be your new life. You will never have to look back. And now, now is when we can play. My. Yeah! Yes, I knew it. You were totally going to cry. Perfection. I guess this means I was successful. Ah, uh, my, you've done it again. <laughs> my. I slammed her into a <gasps> hug. Whoa, be careful. You don't want to break it. This took me forever. <sighs> my, I was bullied at my old school. That's why I came here. It was only because my dad gave up everything to afford it. I thought you wouldn't like me, and I have a hard time trusting people, but if you wanted to, I think we could be, be best friends? <laughs> oh god, now I'm going to cry! Yay! Yes, let's be friends! <sighs> I'm so happy! <laughs> <laughs> me too. Together, we're unstoppable. I'll say. Let's hook you and Jared up. <gasps> Wait, wait, I can't even speak speak to him without self-destructing. It's fine. There's no way he couldn't fall for you. Oh yeah? And no one's caught your eye yet? Huh? <laughs> I'd say there's more than a few suitors on your horizon. Aren't you gonna give it a shot? Me? Dating? My eyes shifted across the fort my made. The stuffed rabbit sitting on my bed. The window with the view of Asagao's manicured lawn. My life changed so much, so quickly. You know, maybe I could. Yeah! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I prepared some activities for us to do. Look. She pulled out a tablet and opened an app. We're going to marathon you through Vavatar. Uh... Er, I don't know. Too late! She pressed play. As evening faded into night, we huddled in, in the blanket fort, watching episode after episode, <laughs> messing with each other. Happier than I'd been in a long time, I rested my head on my shoulder. Before I knew it, I'd fallen asleep. As usual, the next day, Mai and I got to school early, still poking f fun at each other for the moment the night before. But as we approached Poppy Hall, I noticed something that felt different. A palpable tension hung in the air. It was almost humid. Man, what is up with I everyone? Know. I don't know. Is there a test today? Not that I know of. But as we entered the building and turned, to the, turned the corner, it suddenly made sense. Jared and Paul were arguing amongst, amongst a large crowd, spit flying from their mouths, while Nick and Josh walk, walked across the hallway, pacing posters of Paul's face over Jared's modeling shots. I thought I told you to stop and take those posters down. No, what is wrong ah. with you? These walls are everyone's space, we don't have to listen to you. And you should know that this campaign is way more important than your little fashion show. No. But mine were here first. Lay off them. This is between you and me, Jared. Leave them out of it. Uh... You've been taking up all the wall space with your show, and the student elections are much more important. It's our government. <laughs> These student governments... This... The student government doesn't do anything. Whoa! 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. As current president, I can say with full knowledge and proper authority that student government does a ton for the school. You don't even know, Jared. You don't even know. My, what does the student government actually... My... She wasn't with me anymore. She'd pride herself between Jared and Paul and was pushing them apart. I ran forward to help her. You guys should stop. Hana! I flinched. Sorry, Hana. I didn't mean to yell. We... I... We want your opinion on something. So you're a regular student, a new student, and you're uninvolved. Which do you think is more important? Our student government or the fashion show? That's rude of making me choose between you two. So, I don't want to choose between you two. They both let out a heavy sigh. Aww. That doesn't help us. It was amazing they even cared what I thought. Mm -hmm. Hannah, Hannah's usually right about these things. You should listen to her. My patted me on the back. I jumped. I forgot she was there. Jared looked at Mai, raising an eyebrow. Are you sure, Mai? Don't you have your own opinion? Why'd he bother to ask? Uh... Well, if I'm being honest, I care more about the fashion show. I go to the elections because I have to, but I go to the show because I want to. Plus, it raises a lot of money for the school. <laughs> Thank you. He gestured dramatically at Mai, as if, as if her opinion sealed the deal. Mm. That's because we made it a fundraiser. Ah, the five minute bell. Class was about to start. Jared nodded, nodded to us and walked away. Paul opened his mouth as if to say something more, but evidently thought better of it. He headed with Jared. He headed after Jared with Nick and Josh, thanking them for their help. Being a year ahead of us, their classes would be on the next floor. Mai began to follow them, but I gently pulled her arm. Our classroom was the other way. Jared, if you ever need help with the show, I'm here! Her yell echoed through the emptying hallway. Jared, without looking back, raised a hand in acknowledgement. <laughs> Mike covered her mouth and admitted that. <laughs> Wincing, I dragged her into the classroom. After the drama that morning, I wasn't sure what to expect at lunch. I dawdled on my own, making, an, making up an excuse about copying notes, hoping whatever tension remained would dissipate while I was gone. When I got to the cafeteria, it seemed like my like my plan succeeded. Hana! Hana, we saved a spot for you. Get over here. Mai sat at the Noah Boats Club table, looking like she was completely like looking like she completely belonged. She waved for me to join her. I sat down next to her at the edge of the table. Josh was across from me, and we made eye contact as I sat down. And so I nodded slightly to him. He nodded back. I felt accepted. Hey. Hey, Hana. How was your hey. class? Good, thanks. PBG might have already told you, but we're, work we're working together on a project. It's going pretty well. I'm doing the pit. Is that Gerard back there? In a shy moment of not wanting to look Nick in the eye, I glanced to the side and saw Gerard in the back of the cafeteria with someone I didn't know. Everyone turned to look. Hmm. He's probably doing some trading. Satch waved a hand. So I borrowed a new drawing tablet the other day, and I was hoping I could use it to make plans for my machine. Satch changed the subject, and everyone started talking about that. I, however, kept my concentration on Gerard, who was holding a small figure. Same with the girl he was talking to. Were those what they were trading? Those are itty bitty kitties. They're really popular right now. I'm surprised you didn't recognize them. They're kitty figures of all different shapes and colors. I have a few myself. Uh -huh. You know me. I'm hip to the know about these things. They're pretty cute, but kind of a little girl thing. She shrugged. Gerard is known as the completionist around here, and every time a new thing gets popular, he collects them all. I've never seen his collections, but I've heard they're all really impressive. You have to be a dedicated person to do something like that. The completionist? Was that why he was so thorough when giving me a tour? IBK is a thing right now, and last year too. I think in first year there were a lot of people collecting silly slimy snakes, but that got old fast. Teachers didn't like everything coated in a thin layer of slime. I still. I still have one in our room. I can show you sometime. Jared tapped Mai on the shoulder, and she whirled around, hitting me in the face with her hair. <laughs> yes? I want to thank you for this morning. Oh, oh no, it was nothing. Definitely, I mean it. As Jared and Mai spoke, my eyes went back to Gerard's exchange. The girl pulled a second figure out of her backpack and held, up, held both of them up. Gerard inspected it and shook his head. She pulled out another one, and sadly this time, Gerard's face, and, uh, sadly this time, and Gerard's face lit up. He held out his figure and they swapped. How bittersweet, letting go of something you'd love to get something you would potentially love more. What do you think, Hana? 
My attention was pulled away. I hadn't been listening to the conversation. Uh... Huh? Yes or no? Huh? What? What? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Where's the I wasn't paying attention option? <laughs> Um, yes? Interesting. Mike gave me a skeptical glance and turned away. I bowed my head in apology and took one last quick look at the intriguing thing trade happening. The girl left and Gerard was now walking to a boy with a messy appearance who made an exaggerated hand motion. Looks like he just got out of bed. Is this another trade? All right. So, official announcement in case you haven't heard. We're having a competition tomorrow. Just a little casual something to get us ready for the tournament. Yeah! Finally! We've been planning this one since last year's. My attention snapped back to the conversation happening in front of me. Was this what PBG was talking about yesterday? Huh, Maya, you're invited to come if you like. Either way is fine. But let me know so I can ha so I can plan. How does it work? It's a little thing. Some lighthearted, some lighthearted fun to start off the new year. <laughs> lighthearted my ass. <laughs> lighthearted fun my ass. John almost broke Sasha's nose last year and Gerard twisted his ankle. Satch de delicately raised a hand to his nose. No. It was an accident. Hmm. You forgot the part where you almost passed out from blood loss, Shane. I didn't forget. He looked away. <sighs> I can never forget. Uh... I don't know about this. I'm not very good at video games. Yeah! Sure you are. Jared will come. All right. Awesome. I'll plan for you to be there. Don't worry, Hannah. It's actually fun. You probably won't get hurt. As much as I was afraid of possibly losing a limb, I really did want to go. I was glad Mai was there to force me into it. Without her, I would probably be a lonely transfer, probably eating grass by myself yeah! at this very moment. Yeah, sounds fun. Thanks for inviting us. Of course. It'd be rude to have you sit with us at lunch and then ban you from our tournament. Plus, it'd be nice to have some new competition. I look forward to winning. The rest of lunch passed by comparatively un uneventfully. Or at least, if anything else happened, I didn't notice. I was too busy staring at the food in front of me, joy and horror mixing in my stomach. There's no way I was going to beat you in one of these normal boots, boys. I'd make a fool of myself. But still, I was getting to go, so it was a privilege nobody else shared. Paul looked, Paul looked at me with what seemed like concern. I smiled at him. He grinned and returned to his food. The least I could do was give it a chance, right? After a long day, class was finally over, and I was ready to go home. Miss Shizuka still wasn't over her breakup, and Mai complained loudly that she needed a new man so the homework would stop being so killer. It was something to do, though. What else would I be doing if not homework? Studying, probably. Hana! Hana, before we go back to the dorms, there's something in A32 that I want to show you. Come, come. A32? Um. Wasn't that the normal boots club room? We're not allowed in there, so and there's no meeting. So, there's not going to be anyone there either. <laughs> That's exactly why we need to go now. You're so different, you're so different.